Well, I've made some progress with the CDU Bay, and now you can see that I have this uh, modeled, so it is animated uh, even for the mounting. So, for example, if I go to joints and go to this and see that it's animated and set position and also I have changed the design of this hatch to look more like the real thing I don't know if the size is correct but uh, at least I used canvas as background. I've also modeled the uh, uh, power supply. So if I remove the right side, we can now see that I have power supply. I made the bracket quite big. So if I want to place a PCB here or for mount uh, for power to to the sim, I can do that, or I can put it in the inside and draw the cables on the inside. So I could go back with the cables to a PCB here, and yeah, you can see I've, I've slotted holes, so it's easy, it will be easy to mount this and of course the hatch is on the other side too. I've even modeled, uh, if I remove a little things here, and the front cover and the mid support, and I can take the right side too. So I've even modeled the screw here. Uh, so and the rivet nut and all these places will have rivet nuts. So it's actually a countersunk hole with a rivet nut and a screw. So now if I move this out and in, you can see it, it fits in this. So the CDU or the SYS display will fit into that screw and of course it will be mounted on the other si side so if i put the front cover cover there uh, this will be mounted so into the slotted uh, into this and also in place and on all these uh, on all these places I will put rivet nuts and countersunk screws I've not modeled the countersunk screws because of course and that is still uh, adjustable as you can see so I can put this this out and I can model this uh, I can manipulate this however I want. I haven't finished model this frame, but I will. So, and I will also of course put a screw and rivet nut on the other side. So it's prepared for that. So if I, if I put this back, you will see, see the, the hole here. If I put, oh, no, <laughs> revert position, if I put this back, you can see that space for another rivet knot here, and it will fit perfect in the CDU bay. I have changed the, the mounting of this before, before uh, I had this, um, we can uh, remove the low assist display. Before I had these 
uh, turned the other way so they went down instead of like it is now so I'm thinking of cutting this off so I don't need don't, don't need to have I only need those to fit in this plate so that makes a lot of space under the uh, under here to draw cables and whatever you want to to the front of the uh, uh, TQ throttle quadrant. So here we have it. And if I put the right side back, left side back, and front cover, front cover, and mid support. Where is the mid support? The mid support, yeah. And if I put the thesis rail there and thesis rail there and thesis rail and thesis rail. So this is the thesis rails. Uh, I also modeled a, a sheet metal thing just to see that it fits and that there is no doesn't interfere with the uh, low light panel. So I can also do a section analyze. And what should we take a section analyze of? I could uh, section set and edit and maybe there so here we can see the side of the panel and yeah so here's the low light here will be the low light panel uh, not the, the the sheet metal that goes down to the low light panel the light low light panel will come here somewhere and at least you can see now that it's it fits into this and there is no interference with so I can fit this with a screw and boop, and set it in place and this will fasten here I don't know if it's it's enough to to have three screws there that holds this whole assembly but um, the other way I could do this is if I make the slot a little downwards, but then it's, yeah, if you have any better idea of how I could make this uh, so it is not only supported by these three screws here in the front, please let me know. And we can remove the low light panel and section analyze. And there we have it starting to come along. And I will probably put some handles. I don't know if I, I will put them here or where I should put them, but definitely there should be some handles can always lift in this lip here but and it's a lot of room for cables and PCBs and whatever you want here and other PCUs I will have some random holes in this and I will put a lot of more holes in everything and if we just put the canvas on so here is the canvas It's the wrong one. Here's the canvas I've used. So I modeled the slit, slit, uh, the hatch here after that canvas. So if I just get one single measure of this canvas, I can model this hatch better. I've also put these tabs. So when they laser cut this, uh, they will not cut this away. And this will actually stay in place. So 
I think this will be quite good. And of course, I've modeled the CDU also. So it's the flight deck solution CDUs. I've measured them and, and modeled them. So for example, if I remove the right side, the right side, we can see the the CDU fit perfect here. So there we have it. Right side back and save.